You're not gonna want to miss this one. Check out our next project. Wait, 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 wait. We're not actually fixing this. It's going back to the factory to get it fixed. But we are gonna color match this beak right here for an accessory for all of our customers. So stay tuned. All right, so this is where my intro is gonna be, and I'm still kind of waiting on it. So give me some time on that. But I'm gonna include a clip from the um, iPhone, uh, iPhone 10 that I have, or whatever it is. And it really showed the color a little bit better than that intro you just saw there. So take a look at this. See a difference? Now, did you see a difference? Because I definitely did. And I don't know why the GoPro didn't pick it up. And it didn't pick it up throughout the video either. The color in the video is like almost a regular old red, kind of faded. I don't know why. And next off, I want to apologize for a little bit of a smudge mark you're gonna see. Be easy on me, I'm still getting to this. So now let's start the video. All right, so you saw the NSX out there. Now it's time to get to work. We have this small little trim piece that we're gonna paint. And I already did a spray off guard the other day. So I know exactly how many coats of mid-coat? Well, let's talk about the paint first. So we have two types of paint for this. Well, two ingredients that go into this paint. The only thing that's mixed in water-based. They don't have it in uh, solvent yet. Well, at least in our system. So this is Spies Hacker, Spies Hacker, however you want to say it, water-based base. And check this cool thing out here. I think it's so awesome. Pre-mix 2K clear red mid coat so you just pour that into your cup with the hardener and this is kind of pretty much like a pearl and then clear coat but we're going to take you through the process and show you exactly kind of what to do here so first things first uh we need to use an adhesion promoter on that uh trim piece so there's a small trim piece here this is raw plastic it's going to be um scuffed it up we're gonna use adhesion promoter. We can actually use, it's a 1K product. So we can go ahead and use the can. Uh, all adhesion promoter, from what I know, it's definitely 1K. So uh, it just goes on there, doesn't need a hardener or anything like that. And then sealer, and then we're gonna start with the paint process. So uh, come along and uh, let's kind of get this thing started. First, we're going to go ahead and get some adhesion promoter on there. Just gonna take a little bit in here already cleaned off the panel see kind of silver and it shows exactly where we used it you can use this out of a um, aerosol as well I had some left but it uh, ran out so that's fine and here Already tacked it off. You can see where some of the adhesion promoter was from the can. We ran out, so uh, it's kind of spitting, but it lays flat, so that's not a problem. Oh, someone stole my coupler, my adapter. Wow! 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 Cut! Alright, so you can go ahead and unsubscribe right now because I totally deleted or missed the whole sealer, the whole adhesion promoter video. So, I'm sorry. So, the adhesion promoter went down. It goes down with like a silver metallic so you can see exactly where um, you've already painted. And then the sealer went down. The sealer dried to a nice sheen finish. And so once that sealer was dry, now it's ready for the base coat, which you're about to see. Now the base coat is a water-based base coat. So you'll see <laughs> Motivated Painters, if you know him, I have the air dryer, it needs to be dried. And you don't directly put the blower on the um, panel, you know, on, in a downward angle. Uh, actually, the blower is supposed to just move air across the panel, and that's how it dries. And I'm somewhat familiar with water-based, but not a whole lot. So, um, 
You'll see the water base in this clip uh, cover pretty well. And then the following clips we'll see we'll have the mid coat and then the clear. So uh, come along, let's finish the rest of this video. Alright, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna spray that um, clear right here. Tint it clear. Now we can't leave it in this form because it's not the top coat. It's got characteristics of UV, UV protection, but it's like a pearl. Oh, look for this in a coming video. Alright, got a little mix while we were walking. Give it a little spray down. Do it another bumper in the meantime. All right. I'm just gonna do one coat of clear. Clear, tinted clear. Now we're gonna mix up some of our clear. We want standard hardener. It is our premium clear coat right here. Premium clear. Uh, I can only need about a. Yeah, I do five ounces. Should have a little extra. Uh, mix this up here. bit that's okay we formulate it's calling for 2030 same one
coat now. Um, you can tell it's looking a lot better. And after it bakes, it's gonna smooth out even more. Any little studs, dust it, we're gonna be able to go ahead and uh, cut and buff. I don't even know, we might even do a flow coat. Who knows? Right, back in the booth and here it is beautiful color got a good texture to it gonna buff out a small nib there you can see that really happy with this so we'll see what this looks like outside so there is the color let's go see what it looks like outside in the sun and then we're going to compare it against the rest of the car and see if we got a decent color match. Woo! Doesn't do it justice out here, but it is beautiful. So let's walk over to the car and check it out. All right, so we have the trim here. We're going to go see what it looks like by the car. Sun's out, so it'll give us a good idea of how everything matches. Check out that beauty. Even in defeat <laughs> or with an accident, it still looks uh, amazing. So let's see. Hold it up here. I would say, you know what? Not too bad. Definitely for a, uh, a panel match paint job, pretty good. Now it's gonna reflect differently in different lights, but as far as being an accessory piece, it's not that bad. Let's take a look at the car. All right. So there you have it. A trim piece that received our red, red base, red tenant clear, and then two coats of regular clear. Now in the factory, they might take that step, uh, take it a little bit further. Uh, I'm not sure exactly of the paint processes but as far as standoff is concerned, this is a recommended way to refinish any panel utilizing this paint code R556B. Hope this helps and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one.